Once you know you like drawing, there comes a point where you think, hmm, I should really learn the anatomy. And for almost all of us, we learn to draw the front. And it looks something like this. And we can visualize that anatomy into basic shapes, like the pecs, the abs, the traps, the delts, and so on. But for most of us, that's where it ends, because back anatomy just seems really scary and really intimidating. Truth is, the back anatomy might be even easier than the front. Here's a very roughed-in sketch of the skeleton. So let's figure this out together. Now find that point right on the spine where the rib cage ends. Now draw an X. This is really important. This is kind of your basic shape. You're always looking for this X. On the top part of that X, just make it into a diamond. Notice the top is open. That extends all the way up into the neck. This diamond shape is one of the biggest muscles of the back. This is the trapezius muscle. And sometimes there's a little dent here on the neck. Okay, let's turn our attention to the bottom part of that X now. Think about that bottom part of the X like a W. So let's draw two more lines. Complete that W. There it is. Now we have the second most important group of the back. These are the lats, or latissimus dorsi. I'm going to draw the shoulders in now. These are the delts. There are three different areas of the delts. We don't need to get into that. But just think of them like teardrop shapes or heart shapes. Under the delts, you have these small, small muscles. They're the teres major. I'll put in the triceps. These are not back muscles. These are arm muscles, but they are on the back side. Now let's move to the lower back. The muscles of the lower back are just stabilizing muscles. And bring those right down to the hip. Two curves on the side. These are obliques, kind of hip muscles. And then you can see the abs from the front with these two little lines here. And then the bum, or the gluteus maximus. Uh, that's just an M shape. And pop in the rest of the head there. It's going to drop in some shading so you can get somewhat of an idea about how rounded they are. Now let's do a really, really quick review. Start with the chest and the hips. There's the shoulders. Diamond shape. That's the traps. Put in the delts or the shoulders now. These two little ones, the tears, and then the W for the lats. The obliques at the hips and the gluteus. There you go. I hope this really helps you with your back muscles. For more art tips and tutorials, please do follow, like, comment, and share. It really does help me out.